You're okay with this? Yes, I'm okay with this. I'm like celibate, actually. <laughs> All right. I'm starting to feel fear for Carolyn. <laughs> Who's feeling fear for Carolyn? Who, who fears for Carolyn? Yeah. <laughs> Poor it's Carolyn. Just, they all think I'm an ogre. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah. I'm going to solve it. I'm, I'm happy to solve it. Yeah. So, so first thing, first thing you said. Yes. Was you've created all these beautiful things. Mm. You thought they were beautiful at the time. Oh, I still think they're beautiful. Yeah. <coughs> but they're now weighing you down. Mm. Uh -huh. Yes. Can you explain a little bit about the situation? Do you well, mind? I've created a, um, a retreat centre, yep. which is really lovely. And um, I don't quite know how I created it. But anyway, I did. I wouldn't like to do it again. It's called Heaven in the Hills, by the way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was sitting here next to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure to a lot of people, but it is more than I can cope with. And um, can you explain a little bit what's happening to you personally? Um, yes. Well, I now have breast cancer, and I have to go and have a mastectomy in a week's time. But um, uh, and I'm feeling okay about that, really. But <laughs> now I've had the meltdown. I think I've done the. I've tried to find the emotion behind all this. Yeah. That that you know. Yes, I'm, it was a lot of aloneness and doing it on my own and. Mm. Um, um, a lot of financial debt. I have. I started it with forty-two thousand dollars, you know. So it's, it's now sort of a million or so past that in debt, and um, it's quite a lot to deal with. So um, whereas everybody's very happy about coming there and they all enjoy themselves, it's killing me. <laughs> so I feel I've created it, and um, and now and now it's like I, I liken it to a child who's about 15 and still wants to be picked up you know I'm saying you're too heavy I can't pick you up now and I'm even saying to my property look up you know I'm over trying to find a buyer for you you, you really need to attract one yourself now yeah. you know? so you could say at the moment you're in a place of fever to pain mm -hmm. um, well yeah I might be next week <laughs> and um, first thing with pain and this is the first thing for you too we have to admit it now, yes. having breast cancer is a painful thing, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, it isn't yet, but it will be when Well, it is a painful thing, even yeah. from an emotional Yeah, it's painful to think I've got something wrong with me and, and to think that I've, crea and I've created that You've as created well. that, yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Now, let's look at the truth of breast cancer. Breast, can breast cancer comes from over-nurturing. Yes. Wow. Over-nurturing. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I mean by that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. This happens a lot with women in particular. Because they're used to nurturing, used to like, having children, and that causes you to want to nurture, right? And so, what happens is we start over nurturing. Yeah. Now, what causes us to do that to the point of extreme pain? What's the truth? What emotion? We want nurturing, we want to be nurtured. Um, yeah, that's a bit intellectual. Let's look, let's look at it more emotional. What causes me to desire to over-nurture you? So let's say I wanted to look after you and I want to do everything possible for you. Feel needed. Uh, you need to be fear of acceptance. A need to be needed. needed. All right. So let's look at the top, the capping emotions are going to be to issues to do with guilt. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Issues to do with guilt because whenever, whenever somebody wants me to do something for them, I then go ahead and do it for them even though I might not feel within myself that I can handle it. So right at the moment, your property, with your property, this is what's happening. Everyone's coming along, they all enjoy your property, mm -hmm. and you get something about that. There's a feeling you're getting it from that. Yeah, yeah, okay. A feeling of joy that you get from that? Yeah, I have carers there on retreat, and they go yeah. away feeling really good about themselves, and happy, and ready to go on. So I feel like I'm, make, I feel like I'm making a difference. Yeah, so you're addicted to that feeling. Yes. All right, that feeling. Now, why would we become addicted to a certain feeling with, within us? Because we don't have it there within us already. Oh, yeah. right. so, 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 so at the moment, you want to over-nurture people, and the reason why you want to over-nurture, which is the creation of the breast cancer, mm -hmm. the reason why you want to over-nurture is because you don't want to face the truth that if you didn't over-nurture, you would actually feel that nobody loves you. 
follow me? Yeah. So the underlying emotion that's driving it is this feeling that really I'm unlovable unless I work for my love. Mm. Unless I work to be loved. Yeah. Yeah. All right? And how many women have that emotion? Like, oh. It's a big emotion, isn't it, mm. facing many women. Mm. Yeah. And, and it's a, it's a multi-generational uh, yeah. injury as well. And uh, created a lot by, by their men not truly caring for them and loving, loving them. And see, them I, I can see that in my mother before she died. I could mm -hmm. see that and she started this property with me. Um, I could see that and I thought I was better than that. <laughs> I thought I'd improve on that. <laughs> she didn't get breath cancer. <laughs> so what's your ego saying? <laughs> I'm this thing, when in reality what's the law of attraction saying? I don't know. I'm something yeah, different over here. So it's right? genetically passed? Is that what you're implying? Uh, emotions are genetically passed. When, not, when you say genetically, the, the, mother, the mother feels a certain emotion that's passed down to her child. Mm -hmm. and, right. and what's happened is you're more, being more sensitive to that emotion than your mother, mm -hmm. which is the reason why you now have the breast cancer when she didn't. Mm -hmm. You follow? <coughs> so she was quite detuned from her own emotional state, mm -hmm. whereas you are more in tune with your emotional state. Right, but still in a state of error or fear, right? and that's what creates these illnesses and sicknesses. That's why there's more illnesses and sicknesses now than there's ever, ever has been. Right? There's a lot more breast cancer now than there's ever, ever has been. There's a lot of diseases now that were unheard of even 100 years ago. Right? And the reason why is because the generation now is a lot more sensitive to emotional disharmony. So it's not a condemnation, it's actually a good thing that you're sensitive. The key now is how much pain do you need before you confront this fear of the reason why you over nurture. Does that make um, sense? Yeah, okay, but um, how do you get from here to there? That's what I'm trying to do. How do I, like, I've got my property on the market, I'm looking for a nice quiet life can just you, on my own. Can you see straight away what you're doing is you're trying to physically solve the problem? Yes. How many of you try to physically solve your problems? Yeah. It doesn't work. No. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Yeah. Yes. Right, so, so we need to come to learn to do what? Emotionally solve every problem. How do we emotionally solve any problem? Experience the emotion. Alright. So how, do, how would we go about experiencing this particular emotion? Well, one thing we could choose to do is to not nurture anybody anymore. Um, you're about to do that. <laughs> For three months. <laughs> three weeks off. <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think mean, not anymore. Yeah, ever. yeah, but I can't afford to do that because the money side of it won't, won't happen if you don't people. Yeah, see, that's a justification yeah, of the fear. Mm -hmm. But that's justified fear, isn't it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, can you see in practice, this is a lot, it just gets hard pretty quick. It does. You can see that? And I'm saying the truth, no, it's not an issue. You will find the instant you deal with the emotion, all of the attraction, so let's look at the emotion with the money issue. The instant you deal with that emotion, all of your attractions will automatically change and you'll get whatever you need. It's coming to me now. I'm finding money in my purse that wasn't there. Yeah, but don't, but don't, don't intellectualise this. You've still got the fear. You're worried about... You, you're saying, I'm going to give myself three weeks off, recover from the, from the operation, a bit of, bit of what, chemo? Are going to give you a bit of chemo? I don't any of that. Okay, no, so right. staying away just, from the chemo. Just the operation. Just the operation. <laughs> so, so I'll recover from the operation, then I'll get back into things. Um, well, I'm only going to get back into things as a means <laughs> to an end. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And do you know what that is? <laughs> That's called yeah. prostitution. <laughs> well, it's not very lucrative. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing nothing for me. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. So maybe you need to form, change the form of prostitution. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Now, Once you create something though, okay, I've created the breast cancer, mm -hmm. I've created the property. Mm -hmm. um, 
I've had the meltdown a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, I've felt the emotion of being very alone and very um, weighed down and yeah. all that, and um, the know. guilt of creating this in myself, even, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's gone now. But none of that was causal. None of that was. Well, none of that was causal emotion. Oh. The emotion that's creating your breast cancer. Mm. What is it? All of it was effect emotions. Can you see the difference between a causal and an effect emotion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A causal emotion will actually deal with the reason why you over nurture, and you're not dealing with that emotion yet. Yeah. What you're dealing with is, you know, crying about the fact that you know you've got the breast cancer, the fact that you've now burdened down with these burdens and all those kind of things. They are all effects. None of them are going to change your situation. They help you access your situation if you let them. But they're not going to change it. What you're going to need to do is step into the causal emotion. The causal emotion is, I over-nurture, why? That's the causal emotion. And fear is dominating that part of you. Right? Fear is the creation of your breast cancer. Fear is dominating that causal emotion. So I need to turn to a person that doesn't do anything for anybody. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. Just for yourself. What, what, what just happened? The flight. Can, can we get out the list? <laughs> you remember which, which one? I don't understand. Of, I don't understand how to get from here to there. That's okay, and I'm not laughing at you. I want to, I want to, what you're doing is beautifully pointing out to everybody, through your example, what's going on inside of us all. Right? So this is beautiful. So which one of those did you just do? Okay, Which one of the what do we do when in fear list just happened? Intellectualised the way. Go down the list a bit further, you'll find there's another thing there. So, what, what was your comment again? Um, I, I need to turn into the opposite to what I am, and that is somebody who doesn't really care so about other people's So, I'm saying. So is AJ saying that she needs to become a person who doesn't care for anybody? No. No. No, but, but that's the feeling you have. That's the feeling you have. Why do you have that feeling? Because you want to get away from the emotion. So you're going to come up with these ideas, one after the other, after the other, after the other. Oh, AJ's really saying that I shouldn't be loving anymore. Is that what I'm saying? No. no. But I'm going to want to believe that so that I don't have to face the cause of emotion. You see, when we create an illness inside of ourselves that is killing us, there is a huge resistance to facing a cause of emotion. That's an important thing to understand for all of us. But whenever we create an illness that's killing us, there is a huge resistance to feeling a causal emotion. Do you follow that? Yes. There's a huge resistance. Now, we will, in our resistance, do all sorts of things. We will do what you just did, which was actually you tried to throw a furphy at me, if we recall that. Yeah. Basically, you were condemning me. You, you didn't feel this, but you were actually saying to me that I'm now promoting no love for anyone else. But I'm not, am I? No, I was just trying to work out how I've got to be. <laughs> no, no. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> what, what, what's happening is you're trying to intellectualise yourself over the emotion again. Okay. We need to come back to the emotion. Remember I said the emotion was I'm over-nurturing everyone around me, including my property. Mm. Right? I'm over-nurturing everything. I do that because I'm addicted to a feeling that's empty inside of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to feel that feeling. Mm -hmm. There's a feeling inside of you right at this moment that you are trying your damnedest. Mm -hmm. And you're even willing to kill yourself to not feel it. Mm -hmm. No, I'm being serious. Yeah, I know. Right? How do you get beyond that? How do you get beyond that? Well, the first point is to get into a state of awareness that that's the truth. You follow me? Remember, your fear always... Now, and this is something I want to talk about a little bit more. Your fear is the pathway home to truth. Right? So, you would have found out that you're over-nurturing if you had let yourself feel your fear. So, instead of acting upon your fear, let's say you sat down one week, one week and you decided that for three months... 
you would have no one come to your property mm -hmm. and you would have no, you won't nurture anyone just for three months you would do that. Let's say you decided that right today. What would be your fears that start popping up? You've already mentioned some. Well, I'll probably stuff up the figures for the property and I never sell it. Okay. I'm not going to sell In the reality. property. I'm not going to sell the property if I do that. Mm -hmm. What's underneath that? Um, I'm not going to get to where I'm trying to get to, and that is sell my property and get myself into it. But do you really want to sell your property? Yeah, I do. No. No, no, no. It's not true. No, your decision to sell your property is actually based on a fear. No, no, I've, I've got a really good life planned. I've got things I'd like to do. Why can't you do that and keep your property? I don't have enough money to do it. Ah, so there's another fear. Can you see there's another fear? Mm. Right? Okay. No, the truth is, you created this property and you're quite proud of it, right? Yes. And why wouldn't you want to hold on to it? Oh. The only thing that's stopping you is because of these other fears. The fear that you're not going to be able to pay your debts, the fear that you're going to be overburdened, your cancer is killing you, and you, you know, that's what it feels it's like inside of yourself. <laughs> this property is killing me, you know, I'm not, you know, and there's all these things going on. Yeah, I know. You know, I'm ready to hand it over. I'm ready to, for but someone why? else to win. Because um, I can see my ute driving up the road with my clothes and books in it. And because you want freedom, don't you? Yes. <laughs> okay. So why can't you have freedom even if you've got a property? Because people keep coming there. <laughs> no, no, you keep attracting them. You keep attracting them. But that is the nature of the business. That is the nature of this business. Which you created. Which I created. Yeah. Why did you create it? Um, because you're I created this property to make a place for people to come and change their lives. Yeah, There's you're addicted to over nurturing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but is that something wrong with that? I yes. don't understand well, why there's something how wrong with that. How do I know there's something wrong with that? She's, 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 she's got breast cancer. Yes. Yeah. The law of attraction is telling you there is something wrong with that. Yes. Right. It's not loving to yourself. So you're not in a state of love of self. That's what the law of attraction is actually telling you. Every time you feel pain, every time you are in a state of pain, personal pain, you are being told by God, through God's laws, that you are not in a state of love. You just think it's love. So at the moment you have this deep belief. That, um, many of you have met Gloria too, right? Gloria's not here today. And um, Gloria has breast cancer too, um, and she has exactly the same emotion that you have. The emotion of what to over nurture to my own detriment. You follow me? And you'll find that every single woman who has breast cancer, if you talk to them about their lives, they'll all feel a very, very similar emotion. Right? Now, the, the reason why is because you're addicted to doing this. You're addicted to taking this action that you believe is loving. But it's not loving because the proof is that you're having pain created because of it. You follow me? If, I'm, if I've got pain being created because of, an, of something going on inside of myself, then whatever I think is loving is not loving. I'm being told in no uncertain terms, actually, that it's not loving. So this belief that you have that you need to create this environment, or that you wanted to create this environment, and you were going to over-nurture people to your own expense, and you're addicted to getting an emotion back of joy that comes back when they feel benefit from it, all of it is an unloving transaction. Because if it was a loving transaction, you would not be in any pain. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, I say again, how do I get from that? If that's my reality, and if that's what I see mm -hmm. the world as being, how do I change my psyche in that? Well, let's just call your psyche you. Yeah, okay. How do I change, How do me? I change me? Okay. <laughs> How do I change me? There's only one way to change me. What's that? Feel it. Feel it. Sit in them and... And, but it has to be what kind of emotions that I'm feeling? Causal. Okay. Causal. Right. So what kind of emotions are you feeling mostly at the moment? They're all the effects of what you've created. But they're not the causal. The causal emotions will be related to your childhood, 
and how this feeling of over-nurturing, this, this addiction that came about, right, for you to try to do what everybody else wants so that you could get something in return, a feeling of love that comes from them. And in fact, if, if, you, if you consider right at the moment, it'll be so strong in you, this emotion, that if you considered right at the moment for six months just not doing anything for anybody, right at the moment you'd just go into a state of panic about that. And the panic state, this is the fear state that we live in. The panic state will start saying, oh, but what about the property and how much, what, it's not going to sell and, oh, da, 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 da. and all these things, all these thoughts start flying around, right, in my head about all these different things that I'm starting to panic about. What's going to happen to me? I can't support this property. I need to get rid of this property. And, and I'm starting now to get into this really agitated state, right? And that is because we still don't want to feel. We're so afraid of just feeling the underlying emotion and we don't believe that once we just feel that underlying emotion, everything around us will automatically change. <coughs> we don't believe it. So you love what you're hearing, but you're not believing it yet. Here. Um, well, I'm, I'm just seeing the different aspects here. Like, mm -hmm. okay, if I say I'm not going to do... Like, I, I'm looking to create my life now so that I don't do anything for anybody else, right? I'm looking to do stuff for me mm -hmm. now. But there's well, nothing I, stopping you from doing that and having this property. You know, like give you, I'll give you a different scenario. One, one year from now, if you deal with the emotions, that you'll actually have attracted three or four people who want to look after the property for you, that you'll actually be able to leave the property whenever you want and come back to it whenever you want. And in fact, you may have two or three of these kind of properties that you just flip from one to the other about. And you might have, in fact, one or two of them around the world. Well, I've sort of created it already because my cousins have sold their property and moved in with me. Can I stop you, Karen? Yeah. You, just, you didn't hear that. <laughs> it went just like... <laughs> it went straight in one hand, straight out the other. I don't really want three or four of them. I want to, I I want to get myself a little train and live in that. <laughs> I know. And you know why? Because you're afraid. You don't trust it. And, and the, the truth is, and this is one thing I realised that for myself is, the truth is, what's to stop you all having 20 properties? Mm. Yeah. Nothing. One emotion. Right? Just emotions, that's all, right? Yeah. Nothing's going to stop you from having 20 properties, right? And, and having lots of people look after each one for you and all you do is just visit. Yeah. Nothing's stopping you from doing that. Nothing. Mm. Yeah. Right? Just emotions. So you're saying giving up all those emotions, then you have it all. That's right. Everything comes to you. That's what I meant by I seek first the kingdom and all these things will be added to you, right? What's the core of action blocking us from having the 20 properties? <laughs> you not there yet? There's someone, there's someone who wants one of your properties. So if, if, if the effects of what I've just heard, of, to get to the core on the effects, mm -hmm. I've heard the word lonely and I've heard the word mother Mm -hmm. and starting the property together with your mother mm -hmm. and what that represented to you and whose original idea was it? Was it both shared or, you know, was it, could it guilt? It's a lot, it's a well, lot like to do with guilt. All that sort of mm -hmm. stuff and to look at what you actually hear yourself saying in your effects yeah. to then start defining what may be the call. But see, what happens when we get in pain is we, is we look at, is we start trying to find manual or physical solutions to what our problems are. So we start trying to say things like, um, oh, the reason why I'm in the state I'm in is because I've got this property. But that's not the reason why you're in the state you're in. Why are you in the state you're in? It's because I've got this emotion inside of me that all of this situation is just perfectly exposing. You follow me? This situation is perfectly poised where you can't sell your property, you've got breast cancer, you can't pay for your property. So you're in this situation now, this bind, shall we call it. This is how you feel about it. But in reality, it's not a bind. It's actually the perfect situation to confront the depth of your emotion, of your guilt towards over-nurturing others. Right? That's the truth. That's the truth we don't want to accept. But that is the truth. What action do I take? I know you might think I'm not listening to you, but I don't. I can see what you're saying. So now I say to myself, I would, I would go home and not take any action except one. Feel the causal emotion that causes you to over-nurture others. 
to really How do you do that? There is a hole in your soul and you find it. How do you do that? Yeah. Well, we'll talk about some practical ways to do that in a minute. I mean, I, see, I really see, I can see the scenario in my childhood. I know why I became a pleaser. Yeah. I know that. But, yeah, but see, this is what we all do. We say, I know it, I know it, I know it, but uh, no, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, that's right. Right. It's only when we feel it and grieve about it <coughs> that we now really know that that was the creation and it also has left us. You follow me? Mm -hmm. It's only when that occurs. So you can say, I know all about that all you like. It's not going to change a single thing. Yeah. It's only when you allow the complete experience of what wasn't experienced when you were little. How did that little child feel about you know, all these expectations and projections and you know, things happening towards it? How did you feel when you were little going through all that? You need to experience those emotions that weren't experienced then. They are frozen from then. And they are creating everything. They are creating your entire reality. Mm -hmm. and the truth is, what will happen is as soon as you deal with that emotion, things will start changing. The instant you deal with that emotion, things will start changing. But at the moment, you're doing like most, most, most of you are doing, aren't you, really, mm -hmm. if you think about it. You're trying to find these intellectual solutions to the problem that you're in, right? And I keep saying the same thing. There is no intellectual solution. It is all the soul's emotion creating it. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that's going to create something different is for your soul's emotion to change. So the truth is that in three months' time you could be completely healed from breast cancer, mm -hmm. right? Without anything external happening to you, without mm -hmm. taking any pills and without eating anything specific, anything special or anything like that. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is release that emotion that created it. That's all you need to do. The truth is the same with your property. At the moment you're in over a million dollars worth of debt. But the truth is the moment you, you deal with this emotion of over nurturing others as well, you will find that all of a sudden everything will start just smoothly occurring to actually resolve that issue of debt and you won't even consider yourself to be in debt. But only when you deal with the emotion will that occur. You see, what happens is that every time we are in truth, all of God's laws all operate in harmony with what we desire. You follow me? But every time that I am in error, all of God's laws are set up to confront my error. So I'm going to feel like I'm pushing wheelbarrows up hills, <laughs> or even pushing bigger you know, semi-trailers up hills in my life while I'm trying to work opposite to God's laws. Right? So, so when we're in a state of truth, all the laws work in harmony with our condition to expose the emotion. And when we feel the emotion, all of a sudden everything harmoniously changes. But if I don't do that, then I'm working, 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 making, trying to make decisions. And in the end, nothing seems to work. How many of you feel like nothing is working? No matter what you do. A lot of people feel that in their life, right? Yeah. In reality, of course that's the case, because it's the emotion being exposed that needs to be felt. That's what everything is governed towards. God created this universe so that you cannot escape your emotions. Right? A perfect universe. And at the moment, you're trying to escape the emotion. The emotion of the child of creation is being escaped by over-nurturing others and getting this pleasurable feeling back from them when you do that. Does that make sense? Yes. And once that occurs, you've become now addicted to that transaction so much that you're willing to overextend yourself so much and over nurture so much that you're actually willing to create complete disharmony in your own body to continue doing that. And that's the truth of your current state. <coughs> and if you allow yourself to feel the fear, it will lead you to that truth. Okay. Right? But not act on your fear, I mean feel them. So, as soon as you have that thought, pop into your mind, like, I can't do what AJ is suggesting because I'll be broke, I'll be bankrupt. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. That's one of the fears, right? And just go straight into that emotion, what's it going to feel like to be bankrupt? Mm -hmm. What do you feel like? Nobody cares for you, Nobody, why isn't anybody helping you? You know, all these different feelings start, will start coming in if you let yourself dig into that. Mm -hmm. You follow me?
But at the moment, all you're doing is saying, oh, I've got to get it sold, I've got to get it sold, I've got to try hard to get it sold. <coughs> what that's doing is actually doing all these external things, but not addressing the core emotion that created all these external things. And the law of cause and effect is such that if I'm not addressing the cause, I am still going to keep getting the effects. And that's what's happening in your life. Does that make sense? <coughs> Thank you. Thanks for being brave. Yeah, that's, that's not the end of it. I'll pop out and see you. Right. Okay. And uh, we'll talk more. Thank you. <laughs>